and welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing a, another speed build and this ends up being a tiny home, a micro home. A, is it a micro home? Yeah, yeah, because I keep to 30. I think it ends up being 31 tiles in the end, or did I use the whole 32? You know what? Uh, no, 31. Um, and at first I started building on this like lot in Windenburg just because it was like one of the only small lots that is free from any builds that I currently have. Um, but then I'm like, you know what? I don't really feel like this fits the spot, so I do end up moving it to Oasis Springs in a deserty, like more deserty area, kind of. Um, so it's called Desert Tiny Home. Um, you know, it's a micro home, but uh, you know, it's all the tiny living. And this build actually is pack restricted. I used only base game and tiny living. Um, I did use some custom paintings from the gallery though, so it did get marked for custom content, but it's not custom content. So if you want to download this off the gallery, you will have to enable custom content, even though it's not technically custom content. Um, and of course, I will try and remember to have it linked down below. You can also look it up. My origin name will be in the description down below, which is Crown Lily as well. Um, I'll also hashtag Crown Lily it. Um, and just stop that. It is still a pretty, like I said, it's a micro home, so it will only sleep one sim, although it will eat two sims. That sounds, it sounds like the home's going to eat the sims, but no, two sims can eat in the home. Um, because I do manage to fit in like that, uh, high, like bar top table that came with, uh, city, not city living, a uh, tiny living. Why the heck did I say city women? Um, so yeah, uh, it is pat restricted, which it's like, it's kind of difficult to do because like, I love those parent could parent could because I love those parenthood counters. Like you gotta have the parenthood counters. Like, is there any reason to use it? You know, I do like the island living counters. I just wish that they had mesh and counter, like, um, cabinets. Cabinets. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and the, the fact that they didn't give us an island counter right away. And then the island counter swatch doesn't 100% mash up to the regular counter swatch. Like, if you have island lemon, island lemon. If you have island lemon, check it out. They don't mash 100%. Um, yeah, so, and this, yes, you might look at this and be like, oh, are you, this isn't going to work. Your sim won't be able to run around. No, no, I completely 100% player test this. Uh, in fact, I tried to edit it all out, but you may or may not see my sim pop up in certain places. And at first I was going to make the bedroom all like red. I love red. My bedroom is, uh, it has Red is part of its color scheme, so, um, yeah. But then I end up changing it to blue because I felt like there's too much red in the living room and then too much red in, uh, like for me, that's no problem. I love red, but I, I imagine, you know, some people might be like, oh, this is too much red. Yeah, you know, it's not everybody. It's like, um, see, you can see here I'm on the gallery grabbing those pictures it's not custom content i don't know why i got flagged for custom content uh yeah so this if you ever are like building a house maybe you only have base game and you're like kind of like eh, about all the pictures go in the gallery just type in pictures you can get these you don't need to like install mods it's not mods it's just download it off the gallery and pop it in um this bathroom caused me a little bit of a problem because I built the tiny house before and I did the three by one shower. I mean, not shower, three by one bathroom. And I used the, uh, get fame. No, 
I'm confused in my pack names. I used a Discover University um, shower. And I put it, I put like sink on one end, toilet on the other end, shower in the middle. It was the Adeline Shell, A Adeline Shell challenge that I did. I did the bathroom like that. And I was like, oh, I'll just do the bathroom like this again. And then I was like, oh, I'm only using base gain in tiny living. I can't fit a sink in here. So then I go and I rearrange the whole kitchen instead of just doing this three tile kitchen that also works. If you have a sink in the bathroom, you can do a three tiled kitchen. Just throw a dishwasher in there. And uh, yeah, that will work. Um, but you know, you, game, you need a, you just need a sink. So I had to add a sink into the, apart the apartment, into the build somehow. I said apartment because I'm so used to living in an apartment myself, so it's the apartment. But I'm finally, I'm finally moving into a house and I'm so excited. You have no idea how excited I am to just not be in an apartment anymore. I'm so over apartment life. So, finally looking forward to a house and I'm finally going to have a second bedroom. So when I have someone to stay over, they're not just on my couch or in my living room. Um, I do have a blow up mattress that I do. Like last time I had guests over, I have a blow up mattress. I put it in the corner of my living room, but like finally going to have a second bedroom. They can go sleep in there and they're not in my living room in my personal space. It still only has one bathroom though. I was kind of hoping to have like two bathrooms. Like I wouldn't mind like a, a master bedroom with a master bathroom. But you know, bakers can't be choosers. It's a house. It's a two bedroom house. Finally gonna be out of an apartment. Finally gonna have a second bedroom. And I'm gonna have a basement that we have access to and a washer and dryer that's not coin operated. And a dishwasher. I've never had a dishwasher. I don't even know how to use a dishwasher. But I, I can learn. Just like when I moved into this apartment, I never had a digital oven before. And I learned how to use a digital oven, so I can learn how to use a dishwasher. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited for the dishwasher. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like dishwasher. I don't have to do all my dishes by hand anymore. And like the washer and dryer, I actually won't have to do my laundry by hand anymore. Because let me tell you, doing your laundry in your bathtub and then having to dry it like on whatever you can, just hanging it on like we have this big giant weight bench that i've been draping my laundry on to dry it's gonna be so nice i can't wait my only only concern is that to get down into the basement there's a spiral staircase which is different very different and it like the it has a reeling but it's not like the best kind of reeling for like gripping and holding so my only concern is Getting up the stairs with all the laundry. Getting the laundry downstairs is fine. I can just throw it over the landing. It's dirty laundry. It's got to be cleaned anyways. Who cares if it ends up on a dirty basement floor? But getting the clean laundry upstairs. I'm afraid of carrying it up and falling down the stairs and hurting myself. Uh, but I should be alright. But anyways... I've rambled on long enough, and I don't really know what else to talk about, other than how much I hate packing, but I don't want to bore you guys with that. We all know that packing sucks. But anyways, I'm going to shut up now. Here's some music, and I will see you all next time.